Sounds good. We're going to call this meeting to order at 6.03. And we'll do a roll call, which will include, well, we haven't heard from Theo yet, correct? Yes, I we, was, I was hoping she, could, she was going to try and um, join the meeting. I think she's having difficulties. Okay. Um, so right now, we don't know about Theo. Or, do, a roll, do a roll call. Yeah. Goodness sakes, you're going to ask me to do that. Say a um, name and we'll go yep. that way. Okay, roll call. Um, I'm present. I'm Julie, president. Do we got a VP? No, she is uh, excused absence. Okay. Secretary. Uh, trying to join. <laughs> We're going to include her. <laughs> um, we have a uh, treasurer. Here. All right. And then do we have our township reps? Hey, um, Sally from Weldon. Weldon. I'm here. Yep. yep. Um, and Theo is the, well, she's the, all right. Springdale. Springdale, thank you. Who else would we normally even have? Yep, Michelle Lonaconas, I have not. Oh. And she is Colfax, correct? Yes. Okay. So we're going to kind of get started as best we can. This is going to be a, a guessing thing. Mm -hmm. um, starting with the first correction on the top of your board meeting agenda for tonight's meeting, we need to make sure the date is changed to June the 1st from the 2nd. Okay. We'll make that correction right now. So then that's taken care of. Michelle? Uh, yes. Do you do the meeting process explanation? Yes. Okay. Um, We're going to hand it over to you then. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. I can. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Just before we have, before we have, um, a virtual meeting. Um, I see Michelle Lonaconas. Can you hear me? You need to unmute her. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me for. Actually, she doesn't have a microphone symbol on her participants. She must either be calling in or she doesn't have audio corrected. See how it says connecting to audio on the screen? Hello? Hi. Hi. You're there. Hi, Michelle. Holy shit, it took me forever and I've Zoomed before. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. I can't get out on my laptop. I don't know if it's connected to my work account and it just won't let me in. Well, my I, son, <laughs> my son did that. He tried to use his school one to get me on through this and it wouldn't let him do it. So he had to do it through his tablet. So I think that's what's happening on yeah. mine as well. So I'm on my phone. Yeah, so there we go. I apologize in for that, Michelle. We were it's not your fault. Yeah. This has been a learning experience. Um, can you hear me okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. To recap, we're still waiting for Marlene to join us. Um, Anne could, couldn't join us. Um, I'm letting Marlene Robinson in. Marlene? Marlene, can you hear us? Marlene? And the participants don't see a microphone unless she calls in, she's not connected. Okay. 
Um, hold on, I'm just. Now you have to unmute him, Michelle. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. Thank you for your all your patience. Um, just to recap, um, we corrected the agenda to the June first. I'm sorry, it was the second. Um, we did roll call. And, and before we start the meeting, um, can you hear me? Okay. Yep. We're going to just briefly go over. We have to establish rules for um, a resolution that we you can conduct business yeah. for remote attendance by board and committee members and members of the public at meetings due to the coronavirus pandemic. Um, because of the executive orders, um, are allowing um, board meeting board members to meet virtually. Um, there we go. Okay, there we go. They, it was extended to June 30th. And so what we have to do is when we have a virtual meeting, I had posted it on uh, on the front or the home page of our website mm -hmm. with a link going to the board members page and explaining why we have virtual meeting because of the pandemic. Um, and contact information if they needed to contact a member of the board or they wanted to have members of the public wanted to bring the business before this uh, meeting that they could con contact me and then we would provide them with the contact information um, the board meeting is being recorded and we will have to upload it because it's a uh, uh, because of the Open Meetings Act, we need to have a way to get them to the right. It was protected from somebody not doing us. The information they wanted to join to contact me, and we would have given the information for them to join. Mm -hmm. um, and that uh, yeah. anything is going to be discussed at the board meeting, we have to post it online, which we did. Um, and so, conduct of the meeting by members. Um, we've We've upgraded so that members who cannot use or members of the public who do not have a computer or an Android or iPhone to be able to, to join with a computer, we upgraded so we can have pe people call in by telephone. Um, a member's remote attendance shall be considered attendance for the purpose of establishing a quorum. Um, any vote by a member participating remotely pursuant to this resolution shall be counted in the total number of votes for any matter and shall not be held invalid for the reason that it was cast by a member remotely. If any member is participating remotely, all votes on any matter shall be taken by roll call vote. Adjournment of a meeting shall occur only on a roll call vote of the board or committee. A member participating remotely shall disclose any person or persons present in the same room as the member during their remote attendance. For closed sessions conducted under this policy, each member and authorized attendee of the closed session shall not allow anyone else to hear or view the closed session. All members are off and authorized attendees of the closed se session shall affirm before the closed session begins that they are in compliance with the subsection. Emails, texting, or other forms of electronic communication by or between members during the meeting shall not be allowed. Okay, so I just, um, the board has gone through, which just we have to allow. Uh, the one thing I wanted to note, Dick, is that when we do have members of the public join a meeting, at the beginning of the meeting, we have to um, have acknowledge each one of them and that um, we take a roll call vote of the public joining the meeting. And uh, we, will, we have to ask them after you present a resolution or approve a motion, 
we have to open it up to public discussion and ask if they want it. So with do that, we any, it, do we have any well, public? Do we attending? have any public? <laughs> That's what I was just going to ask. We have one member of the club public, my brother Cliff. Oh, so good. We can ask Cliff if he has any comment. So if you all have read through the resolution, do, do, Julie, do you want to make a motion to? Yes, I need a motion on the floor to accept the resolution for the new remote rules for the Betsy Valley District Library. So now to make a vote, do I need to verbally ask each person? Or yeah. you need to ask for a second? Okay, I, first of all, I, I, need a, I need the motion and then I need a second. I think Dick made the motion and I'll second it. And, okay. you, do, and you do need to roll call when it's a Zoom, you always have to roll call. Okay. Is that Sally seconding? Yep, that's Sally seconding. Okay. <laughs> can, and then, can I, okay, so I need to do a verbal roll or a verbal vote. But before so you gonna, vote, you need to ask if their public has any comment. Does that does our public member have any comments? No. Okay. okay. So everything has been explained. It's all laid out. We know this is like I said, the new for everybody. So we will get along with it. Um, I'm going to start my my voting by roll call. I, Julie, yay, to accept the resolution. Vice President Marlene. Um, Anne's the vice president, right? Oh, and Anne's not here. She's okay. Absent. With excused absence. Yep, she's okay. an excuse. So okay. we will go to secretary. I say yay. Okay. Um, treasurer. Yes. Now can I do, is Sally? You're our next, your township rep? Yes. And Michelle? Did oh, move? shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the only person I see is Michelle and myself. <laughs> That's Marlene, but I was waiting. You I got that waiting. right, I said yes. Okay, yes. you just said yes. Okay, thank you. You can slide through the people. Do we have any? There you go. Do we have anybody else? Now he pulls me up to everybody. I was only seeing Michelle, so I just kind of go on my voices, but okay. So, with a positive vote from all members of the board that are present, um, we can accept this resolution for establishing the new remote attendance policy for the Betsy Valley District Library. So at that point, Michelle, this is all in place, correct? Yes, so now we can go on with the, the meeting okay. with the, the approval of the agenda with the correction of it being instead of June 2nd to June 1st. And on the resolution page packet that Michelle sent, where that's dated, we should date it today's date? Yes, it was adopted June 1st, and I will get, because these were draft copies, I will get you copies without the draft watermark. But yes, I would put adopted June 1st. These will be placed in, you will have them? They will be in our, our policy handbook. Okay, all right. So we have that, because I do see on the back page where Marlene needs to. We will have what? to have Marlene, you'll have to come in and date it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. At some point. So, so with that being passed, and we have no public comment from our public participant, my next motion to be on the floor will be approval of tonight's agenda. Okay. Which should be before you. If there's I, any additions or corrections at this time, let them please be made. Um, I, I can give you directions on how to dial in if you want me to. I move that we approve the agenda with the day change. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I have a motion on the floor by Sally. I need a second. 
I'll second. It's Marlene. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. No, I... Second by Marlene to accept tonight's agenda with the correction of the date change. All those. Oh, now I got to do the roll call. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Dick? Yes. Marlene? Yes. Michelle? Yes. Sally? Yes. Um, and the other Michelle, okay. who's on the line. And I vote yes as well. So with the approval of the agenda, as worded, except for the one correction with the date change, that motion will be carried. Okay. All right. And I would ask for communications, but I'm almost afraid to open the whole can of worms. <laughs> I would imagine we'll probably have several. Michelle, you with us? Yes, um, that was okay. Theo. She was having trouble trying to dial in. Okay. Oh. All right. Do we have any communications to speak of? I mean, anything that's pertinent? I think all of our communications are, are covered under old business and new business. Okay. All right. Then with that, we will be moving along to the approval of the minutes from our last meeting, which seems like it's been forever ago. <laughs> it was. I know. Um, as Those we all know, there hasn't been no programs going on within the library. So tell us what else is new. Oh, oh we got to do that. We got to do the, the minutes first. The approval of the minutes. So were there any corrections or additions or from the March 10th meeting? I move we accept the March 10th minutes okay. as presented. Okay, I have a motion by Dick. Seconded. I'll second. I'll second. <laughs> who who, who, who did it first? We're gonna do we're gonna do one more verbal vote. Let's hope we kind of get past this. So um I yes to accept mm -hmm. Dick. Yes. Marlene? Yes. Michelle? Yes. Sally? Yes. Did I miss anybody that's here right now? <laughs> then the motion is carried to accept the approval of the minutes from the March 10th meeting. Okay, Dick, you're on with the treasurer's report. Uh, you received by email an operating statement, a balance sheet, and a check detail report. Nice. That just came today because they were just created yesterday. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, the operating statement, uh, the only item of particular interest is in the uh, tax receipts. We got the Manistee County delinquent tax check. So that uh, total of $64,605 is final. That's what the tax receipts have been this year. Um, not any other particular items of interest in my book. Right. So with that being... The balance sheet shows our balances as of the end of the month of May. Uh, comfortable balance of cash available. No outstanding uh, bills. We paid bills with the checks that are listed in the uh, check detail report. Mm -hmm. Again, there's this regular, this regular item. So if there aren't any questions, I would uh, ask that you accept the report and uh, authorize payment of the bills. I'll make a motion to accept the treasurer's report. And, and, and Marlene? Please. Yes. Theo, I have Theo joining us by phone. Can you hear Theo? 
Okay, so can we note that CO has joined the meeting? Okay. Okay, so we were in the process of making a motion to accept the treasurer's report and pay pending bills as whatever it says. Pending, yep, pay pending bills until audited or? Thank you, yes, so I'll make yeah. that motion. Okay, I have a motion by Marlene to accept tonight's treasurer's report as presented and to pay pending bills until audited. Do I have a second? I will. That's Michelle. That Michelle? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hey, Michelle, sorry. I know That's I okay. you're looking down right. And I would say all in favor, but I'm going to have to do this. We'll do it one more time. Um, yep. I, for, I agree. I accept. So that's me, Dick. Yes. Yes. Marlene. Yes. Sally. Yes. Michelle. Yes. And if Theo can hear me, and I don't know whether she can or not, so. Theo can, can, they're at, yes. Okay. okay. And you, they were making the motion to accept the treasurer's report? Yes. I yes. All right. Good. We met it was a unanimous approval to ex accept tonight's treasurer report as presented with the idea to pay pending bills until audited. So we are good. Hopefully we don't have to do a ton more votes. Let's go to <laughs> the, the, the librarian's report. Um, I just, Theo, you can hear okay? I can hear just fine. Okay, just to recap, I think you already covered the March library report. Under the April and May report, as we were close to the pandemic, we were only allowed to go in for essential services. Um, obviously, our, we had virtually no patronage. Um, just one thing to note is that we have uh, had steady overdrive, our, our ebook and um, Up North Digital was used quite a bit consistently. Um, in that we are just want to note that we are trying to work on doing online programs. Um, we'll be doing an online story hour and um, we're, we're just getting ready to try and reopen and make sure that we have the pro proper precautions and PPE ready for when we do finally open our doors. So we'll be working on uh, our reading program and try to do a part of it that we folks can sign up online as well. So we'll be working to be ready when we're finally able to open the doors. Do I, I do have a question, Michelle, and I'm sure this is obvious, but just to clarify, when we look back at our numbers for this month and they're down, that's not going to affect any of our federal aid or any state aid or anything you will get, correct? No, no. They, that, I, I think they're, they're still, um, it won't affect our state aid this year, but the the one thing that we'll really have to watch is in the coming year after we come out of COVID, with the state having to put so much money into unemployment in that, that we might be facing some budget shortfalls. Which, so hopefully- thank, the, God, thank God we do have a little bit of contingency to depend on if need be yes I mean, so, it, and it's, it's not just going to be the libraries there's going to be a lot of programs affected i know my son's worried about the schools they were already pretty much cut to the bare minimum before this happened so yeah. what's going to happen i guess we'll just have to wait i just wanted to clarify that you know if they look back and they see a month where our patronage was you know nil hopefully they realize that was the reason but Yes, you know, no, they will we'll make okay. contentions for everyone because right. everyone was pretty much in the same boat. Correct. Okay. All right. So, 
Um, anything else from the librarian's end? Nope. Okay. We're going to move on to our old business. Um, number one would be the library closure due to the big pandemic. Just what was that? What was your actual official first date that you guys were closed? I think if um, I'll have to look back on my calendar, but March 16th. Okay. I think. Well, I know the first one. Just to the first one. Okay. That could be. I don't remember that. So. So, um, jump right down to our new business which is going to be the reopening uh, how we're going to how you guys are going to handle it what you need from us what we can do to help you well we're going on a business mm -hmm. i i would say we the library of michigan mandated that we had to have a COVID 19 exposure prevention preparedness and response plan okay if you had a chance to look that over, it was able to be responsible place, some key protocols for staff and police office, uh, on ways, um, how to set up a uh, social distancing, wearing masks, using the PPE, and for the we can do by just the policy would be reading in phases. Um, we've already secured our PPE. Um, I think we would move in. Um, you'll have to check because if they said libraries can open on the 8th, um, I guess that will override stay home, stay safe, uh, executive, which um, doesn't it, you know, get all yeah, over until the June 12th. No change it. You did you change it today. This afternoon. Today. Okay. So, so June 8th is the new official end of the stay at home policy? I guess so. If you're reviewing the end of the day, I would just ask, can I have a little bit of people who just leave our doors? I'm going to have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit longer. So, if you need it, the Connected exposure prevention preparedness and response plan. Please look at the right. 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 Please so, so what we're going to do is we still, I believe, have to cover, we still have to be under MICA and the CDC guidelines where that we will have hand sanitizer stations at the front door and in the library. We're going to maintain the distance. Staff will be masked, and we will have masks available for, for patrons. If you want, we can we'll have ones that we'll be able to give them. We secured 20 from the Benzie area, Christian Aid for Benzie bus, and that they're washable. And I did order 25 disposable ones as a backup, but we will be able, I think we still need to follow CDC and guidelines. Yeah. So, but oh, you're literally separate. Okay. They're doing it. One job is clean, Michelle. Do you know? What was your answer number? I have to check on that. We have 1,500 square feet, roughly. 250,000 square feet, so you're at. So if we can seat 40 people in our meeting room, I'm saying it would probably be going on 10 to 12 people yeah. occupancy. Well, 5% of that's going to be 10 people, so. Right. Man, how do you look at it? So we have, we're planning to set up computer computer. Two students, they'll be six foot apart. We're only going to have, if one person needs to use a laptop, it'll be, they'll have to sign up to use the conference room one person at a time. We'll have a station at the table that's in the main part of the library one person per that table to use a laptop or phone. Um, that's why we're trying to promote uh, like our online story hour. So things will change. We might still do the online story hour, but with these new changes just hitting today, um, that's why we have that phase plan in place. Yeah. It, it can be accelerated, but we still have to follow the CDC and the MIOSHA guidelines. Yeah. Yeah, so, and nothing says that, I mean, we all hope that we're going to go to from five to six, but nothing says we're not going to go back to three. So you need well, to be prepared for that. Say, that's what I was just going to say. You also don't want to jump in wholeheartedly and then have everything pulled out from underneath yeah. you again. You don't want to be too lax. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. 
So I think that the phase way going in and doing what you feel comfortable doing at the beginning and then working your way to appointments mm -hmm. is the way to go. I mean, we've been lucky in this area that we haven't had more, but we have a lot of people that could be high risk or more at risk than maybe a lot of other places. So I think it's important not to, not to push elderly. It. Exactly. Exactly. Although I see, like I, I can most definitely tell, it's not stopping the people from down there coming up here regardless. Yeah. <laughs> They're not slowing down. So, so, so but anyway, technically, I, do we need to approve the, yeah, the that's two I rules? Right. Do we need Probably. to approve I, the reopening rules? You, I, you I need to, mainly because this, although we were in that, in that phase where we're past stage three going into, it sounds like stage four, and even faster opening up because our area has seen mm -hmm. the curve drop. We need to have this plan in place because if we get a second wave, we might be going back to stage one or stage that's two. What you said. That's what I was saying. And you don't want that. So we're better off to start slower and work our way And up. we cannot open without it being approved. Correct. Right. So what I need is on the floor to accept the reading plan as presented in the stage and then letting, allowing Michelle and the librarians to use some of their best judgment. I'm going to go Michelle, she's the librarian. So how does it sound? Motion to approve, motion to accept what has presented in the stages, phases, something like that. And then I'm approving the reopening reop policy. You don't, have to, you don't have to say anything more because the it's in details it. are in the policy. Right. Okay, okay. So we, I need a motion to accept the reopening policy as presented. So I'll, I'll do that. Motion. that. Oh. Okay, I got a motion and, by Dick. And, and Julie? So I'm assuming that's a yes from Dick. Oh, Julie? I, I vote yes, yes. Julie! Yes. I was just going to ask, did you also, rather than doing a separate motion in accepting the reopening policy, do you want to also include the uh, to approve the Betsy Valley District Library COVID-19 Exposure Prevention Preparedness and Response Plan as well? Separate, separate motion. Yeah. Separate? Okay. Yep. That'll be the second part of this motion. How's that? Okay. All right. So Dick voted yes. That's the reopening policy. I voted yes. Theo? Yes. Marlene? Yes. Sally? Yes. Michelle? Yes. All right. Voting that we all unanimously agreed to accept the reopening policy as presented. Second oh, part of uh, that would be to Julie, a motion. Before, before you do that, can you tell me who made the motion and who seconded it? I had it. Uh, I started over here. I made the motion. Dick made Dick the motion. Dick made the motion. I wrote it here somewhere. I'm so. Oh. Um, I thought Sally seconded it. Could have been. That's that sounds good to me. Okay. okay. You know, I thought she did too, but maybe I'm hallucinating. <laughs> That's fine. I just wanted. To I in. have I have exes by their names, so I'm assuming one of them made it and one of them seconded. Okay. All right. <laughs> now moving on to the. COVID-19 policy. Preparedness and response plan. What's that? The, to, you make a motion to, to accept or approve the Betsy Valley District Library COVID-19 exposure, prevention, preparedness, and response plan. There we go. Everybody get that. <laughs> so I yes. have a, do I have a motion? To accept that. How e -P 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 -P. <laughs> <laughs> The E P P R P. <laughs> e P P R E. All right. I have a motion by who? Me, Marlene. Okay. I have a second by 
Me, Michelle. Okay. And we'll do one more of these. Yes. So that's all that voted on and approved. So those are good for your minutes, correct? Yes. So I think this is a way to go. I also personally don't have an issue with meeting in a face-to-face -face meeting, whether it be in the library. I mean, we could all sit in a different room and pretty much do what we're doing. But that's going to be up to you, and you can keep us posted on how you feel about that as we get closer to our next meeting. I think maybe we can see how things go exactly. into July. It, it would be up to